And as you're developing this case statement, you know, it's certainly from the perspective of the donor and it has to reflect the ethos of the organization in a really big way. Um, but as a donor, as you're reading this, it should become very clear, you know, why this particular organization, why now, and why me? So what's the three compelling reasons that tie that all together and make me want to actually support and give even more generously than I would have to this organization before? I think you bring up two points there, which is striking that balance of being aspirational in the language, but also being realistic in terms of, you know, the, the goals that are achievable. And then the second piece, the unique value proposition that that client brings. And really, um, in terms of first steps, knowing the space, knowing what peers are doing, what makes peers unique, and what differentiates this client from other peers. So that again, it can be authentic, it can be their voice, and it can be really compelling for their donors.